G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back for another episode of Wasteland Survival. So, in the last episode of Wasteland Survival, I got the majority of this elevator shaft done. Um, we added in all of these sci-fi interior walls, which I think look pretty good. Um, and then I was starting to add some of these blocks here, which were these um, neon tubes, although I'm not really using them as neon tubes, I'm kind of just using them as... Um, yeah, kind of makeshift wires that go up and down the walls. So, also, what I did was I published the blueprint for this entire world onto the Steam Workshop so that you guys could get a decent look at the world. Um, and what I did uh, with the blueprint that I published on the Steam Workshop is I actually put a spotlight at the top of this elevator shaft. Um, so it kind of does light up the elevator shaft a little bit um, but I don't really like the way that it looks so I'll just kind of weld this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. So yeah it, it kind of lights up the elevator shaft but at the same time it's not really what I'm going for. So I think what I may do here is I might add some lights at alternating intervals um, so either I was thinking maybe about here on these these blocks here so maybe we can add some interior lights at certain intervals here um, but I think I'm probably not going to worry too much about um, the radius of these lights because I don't want this entire elevator shaft to be lit up um, I kind of want portions of it to be dark if that makes sense so I'm probably going to have to place them maybe maybe we can place some here at I'm not exactly sure at what intervals I'm, I want to place these lights but yeah that's certainly something I want to do and then obviously I need to go ahead and I need to finish off these neon tubes um, so I think what I'm going to do with these neon tubes is I'm going to end these at um, at each floor so you get to see this kind of control box um, so basically we have our door there and then at that same level we have our control box so that when we're standing in the elevator itself we kind of see that like kind of control box there and then we have the wire running up the wall um, so I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish off these wires I'm gonna run them all the way up the walls and then we'll see how that looks and then um, yeah we'll kind of go from there and then from there we can kind of design the lights as well so alright guys I'll see you in a second once I've finished all these wires Alright guys, welcome back. So, as you can see, I have gone ahead and I've placed in all of these wires. So, if we exit the elevator, you can kind of see that I've got the wires going all the way up to the top. And, yeah, they kind of end here. Also, what I've done is I've taken the liberty of raising or completing the last, like, three or four blocks to the very top of the elevator shaft. Um, so I think it's looking pretty good. Obviously on this back wall here, I've kind of had to end um, the wires just above and below these sensors here. So yeah, I mean so far I think the elevator shaft is looking pretty good. Although one thing I think I may change is I might actually grab some of these sci-fi interior walls and then go ahead and place them along here as well um, but I guess we'll see how we go I did kind of toy with the idea of replacing them with just these regular interior walls going down the front but I don't know if I really like the look of those um, I kind of do really like the look of these sci-fi interior walls just a little bit better so all right I think what we can do now is we can go ahead and we can start placing in our lights. Now, while I was away, I did kind of toy with the idea of running wires um, down this way and then placing some interior lights here. Um, and the reason why I was kind of toying with that idea is because obviously you can see that these interior or these corner lights and these interior lights take up a PCU of 25 so I was kind of trying to limit the amount of PCU that I'm 
kind of consuming as the game is kind of getting a little bit slow but then again if I go I have go have a look at my frame rates in here it's you know sitting at a solid 121 and um, the CPU and the GPU load is really minimal so I think it really depends on what you're viewing at the time um, as to what is affecting the frame rate so I think I'm just gonna go with lights on the sides so to that end what I plan to do here is we'll just get rid of this um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for corner lights um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them on this corner here so what we'll do is we'll start around about here and then I think what we'll do is we'll space them apart by about three blocks so we'll go one two three one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three and so on and so forth and so on and so forth and then we'll place them all the way down although here I can't really place one because the elevator is in, in the way so we've got one, two, three, we can't place one there, so we go one, two, three, and then, yeah, we'll just kind of continue that theme all the way to the bottom. Okay, so we've kind of reached the bottom here. Um, as you can see, the elevator doesn't really go down to this level, so I'm not really too concerned about placing lights any further down. So all we need to do is kind of replicate that across this way, so... I think what I'll do is I'll spin them around this way. Now my plan is with these lights is I'm just going to set the offset to zero. So it doesn't really matter which way these corner lights are actually orientated. So I think that's probably going to be the best way to go. Um, because then I don't really need to worry about which way they are orientated so that I can kind of get the perfect... Um, light distribution and I don't really want them to extend into the elevator shaft that much so I think I'm happy just having them set to zero so it, yeah like I said it really doesn't matter what orientation I have these lights so what we'll do is we'll finish placing these down and we'll place some another one here on this side and then we'll just kind of continue on that theme so I think this one will one two three one, two, three, yeah, place that one there, and then we'll place the other one on the other side here. So, and then what we'll do is we'll do the exact same thing on this side and on this side as well. And yeah, it is a fair amount of lights, but like I said, the um, the PCU count doesn't really seem to be affecting my PC too much. So, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do it, and I'm not really going to worry about it. One thing. I have noticed though, and I have mentioned this many times before, Energy is low. I, yeah, I've noticed that when I try and use the local grid alignment when placing blocks, it's really lagging sometimes. Like sometimes I'll go to place a block and it will lag like by about one or two seconds, um, sometimes even like 10 seconds. So I think I'm going to have to kind of avoid using that at this point. I think when I try and do that, the CPU usage on my computer goes insane um, so there seems to be some sort of graphical or engine issue with the game that's causing that problem so not really sure what that's all about but um, yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of annoying but there's not really too much I can do about it so I'm just gonna have to try and avoid it so yeah as you can see we have our lights all the way up the top now, what I'll do though is I'm going to move the, actually, no, what I'll do is I'll leave the elevator exactly where it is. Um, what I'm going to do though, I think, is I'm actually going to adjust these corner lights here. Um, so these will be on a separate grid here. So these ones are the ones on the bottom of the elevator. So maybe we'll call these elevator... Um, accent lights uh, accent lights so we'll name these one or accent light one and two so we'll name those two because these ones are white so these are the ones underneath the elevator which I showed you guys in one of the previous episodes now as you can see all of these ones here will be the ones in the elevator shaft themselves so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna select all of these so we'll go hold down the shift key 
and then actually no I'll hold down the shift key and I'll select all of these we'll make sure all of these are actually the ones in the elevator shaft here so make sure they're all just the stock color so we'll select all of these um, and then we'll press control get rid of that one and then what we'll do is we'll set the offset of these to zero so you can see that the offset moves in on that one over there um, again set the intensity to something low like 0.8 um, the fall off 2.0 which is pretty standard for my type of deal and I might actually push the radius out a little bit so maybe we can try let's say 5 meters let's see how that looks um, we'll change the lighting to 190 and 215 and let's see how that looks so I don't think my character has his lights turned on at this point so yeah there, there is a little bit of ambient light there but it's not too aggressive and as the elevator is moving up the lights on the elevator itself are kind of lighting Energy everything up critical. around me so it's just kind of like an effect like this so if we go to the second floor you can kind of see that we have some lights and some kind of detail there just as the elevator is moving up and down so that you know it's just not some smooth boring elevator shaft so I think it looks quite decent um, but again you know let me know what you guys think and I do think that what I am going to do is I'm going to replace all of these blocks here with these interior walls or these sci-fi interior walls on this side so I think that's certainly something that, that I'm going to do as well um, yeah I'm actually really happy with how this elevator shaft is turning out it's um, yeah, like I said before, it is the very first elevator shaft that I've ever created in the game. So I think for my first go, I'm uh, actually really happy with it. So uh, where is this? Ah, where is this light? Um, let's move it this way. Oh, it's trolling me now. Uh, is it at that level? No, it should be there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll adjust that final corner light so let's use this as the control panel for that so let's find that last corner light which should be 317 we'll go 190 215 and then we'll go radius 5 fall off 2 and then intensity I believe was no offset is 0 intensity is 0 0.8 so yeah maybe I could bump that up a little bit more maybe I could bump it up to around maybe six and a half meters but I think what I'll do first though is I'll add the lights on this side and then also what I will do is I will get rid of all of these blocks here and I will replace these blocks with just regular armor blocks um, also I will do the same up here next to this door replace all of these with the sci-fi interior walls place all the lights in and then yeah we will kind of go from that point there so I will see you once all of that is done and there is also another modification that I want to make to this elevator and elevator shaft um, although it is quite an extensive modification so um, yeah so yeah anyway I will see you once um, I've gotten to that point and uh, yeah we'll, we'll go from there okay guys welcome back so um, as you can see I have placed the sci-fi interior walls on the frontmost wall that is next to the doors I've gone ahead and I have placed lights on every single corner of the elevator shaft um, another thing that I also went ahead and done is I reduced the intensity of the lights on the roof um, so um, the reason why I've done that is to kind of make it so that the lights in the elevator shaft itself kind of shine through a little bit more than what they were before so but I just kind of wanted to show you this so just have a look at this now tell me that does not look absolutely amazing um, honestly this turned out better than I had ever expected it to turn out so I am extremely happy with how this elevator shaft has turned out all these lights um, even though they don't have a massive radius 
it really gives the feel like this is an elevator shaft. I was kind of toying with the idea of making these lights here um, the orange color, but I don't think that's really necessary. I think the lighting that we have here is just looking pretty amazing. And to be honest with you, I honestly just want to make the entire roof entirely out of glass just so that we can get a decent look at this elevator shaft when we're going through it. Um, but I guess you you, you kind of can see it through here. Um, so yeah, there is that too. And then as we go past, you can see all the lights going past. You can see the wires there. So we got heaps of detail going on all around the place. And yeah, I think overall it's looking really good. Um, I guess the only thing I really could do here is... Um, oh, yeah, by the way, so um, for my troubles of adding all of these lights in the elevator shaft, I have consumed 96 lights, which has put me up around 2,400 PCU just in lights. But as you can see, the frame rates are still good. Um, we're still sitting at about 115 frames. Um, the thread CPU load is pretty high, but... Um, I guess when we look down here, it's not too bad. So, yeah, I've taken a little bit of a performance hit on the computer just to do this and make this all possible. But if you ask me, I think visually and on a beauty perspective, it is absolutely and utterly worth it. So, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think, as always. Um, I value your guys' opinion on that. So, I think really the only thing I could possibly do is maybe increase the um, intensity of these lights so let's have a look here so elevator shaft lights um, so that should be all of those lights so yeah up to 96 um, so maybe what we could do is we could bump this up by about one meter and maybe that might just make it look that little bit nicer um, yeah I think that's that's pretty good that's um, yeah that's on the money I'm pretty happy with that now as I was saying before I ended the last portion of the video and started this portion of the video there was one kind of major modification that I wanted to make to this elevator so you guys might remember in I think it was either episode 50 or episode 49 where I was kind of discussing the fact that you can see these pistons here aren't fully extended like this one here I believe is only extended to about 3.4 meters so I have about two and a half blocks worth of space here that I could kind of use and then this piston here is not fully extended either so um, obviously each piston extends by 10 meters which is four blocks so all up I have about six blocks of extra space that I can kind of play with and I was kind of not really too concerned with raising the elevator that much further but to be perfectly honest with you I think it is kind of worth it so what I am going to do is I'm going to kind of demonstrate why I think it's worth it so um I really need to kind of go outside to kind of demonstrate why this is worth it but what I'll do though is I'm going to put a projector block here I'm gonna weld this up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a template where it's just a single line of blocks that extend horizontally out of the mountain so we can kind of see exactly where this um, this is going to end up or like the hallway at the very third or very top floor is going to end up and where our control center is going to end up so what I'll do is I'll weld this up then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and I'm going to create this template and I'm going to project it through the mountain and then we're going to have a look at where it actually pokes out of the mountain and how high it is above the landing pads if that kind of makes sense but i mean if you guys stay tuned it'll kind of make sense in a couple of seconds anyway so i'll see you in a second after i've shown you that okay so i'm back and i have gone ahead and i have projected 
the blueprint that I just created through the mountain and we'll just kind of get an idea of where this is actually sitting actually you know what though um, what I need to do though is I just kind of figured out that the the blueprint that I just kind of created is wrong so let's um let's go back up to the top of the elevator shaft and let's have a look at this here so as you can see I have created a whole bunch of blocks that go all the way through the mountain and what I need to do from here is kind of lower this down by one two three blocks so let's um let's go ahead and let's do that so we'll go into our projector elevator um, I will lower this by negative no, I have to go this way. So it looks like we've got to go negative four. No, wait, sorry. We've got to go up one. So let's quickly do that. So projector elevator, turn this up to three. A little bit counterintuitive, but hey, that's what it is. Um, I think what I'll do is I might... No, nah, we'll, we'll go this way because I think this way is slightly quicker. So we'll go through here. Go all the way out the front. Try and use my jetpack for this so we can get out there as fast as possible and not waste any time. Right, so let's go out the front and let's see how this looks. It's a little bit of a pity that there's a storm here, but I guess there isn't really too much I can do about that. So, as you can see, the floor is going to be at this kind of level here. So. If I go to my local grid alignment, my floor is basically going to be here. And this is basically where my control tower is going to poke out of. Um, so you can see that it's, it's really not that much higher than what this ship is here. I mean, it's maybe like one or two blocks higher than this ship. And the way I kind of see a control tower being is that it's going to have to be a little bit higher than the ships that are landing on the pads so well at least that is my kind of ideal scenario for the way that I want this thing set up so what I'll do though is I'm gonna quickly withdraw a couple of so let's just withdraw some steel plates here um, what I'll do is I'll select my local grid alignment and you may see the game kind of freeze when I try and place some of these blocks. We'll turn that off now. And then what we'll do is we'll place these blocks here as kind of a reference of where the floor would be if I was to place it here. And then what we'll do is we will raise this up by about six blocks, which to be fair is not really going to be that much of an increase. But I have another idea on how I can kind of make this a little bit higher than what it is um, if I go with that so I think what we got to do here is go to zero and then negative three which is kind of counterintuitive so yeah the control tower will kind of end up here somewhere which isn't really that much higher than here but I guess once you get up here, it actually is quite a little bit higher than what it is down there. So I think it is definitely worthwhile to go ahead and raise that elevator shaft by, yeah, um, six blocks and use all of the length of those pistons. Now, it does kind of mean that I have to go ahead and reset all the timer blocks reset up the sensors and all that sort of jazz but yeah I honestly do think that it would be worth it um, the only thing I'm really not hundred and ten percent happy with is the fact that this base was kind of built a little bit to the left of this kind of um, mountain in the middle of this valley but yeah the base is kind of built in the middle of the valley but this mountain is to the left or the right a bit depending on which way you want to look at it so i guess i i can't really have my cake and eat it too so i'm just going to have to kind of deal with that um it's not a real big issue but it does kind of bother me on a little bit of a level so um yeah so 
I think we we have plenty of room though on either side to build a hallway to get to this control tower so and also the other thing is the other other advantage of making it taller up in the mountain is that I don't have to go out as far so you can see I, I saved myself like two or three blocks worth of space getting out to this point in the first place so yeah I guess there is that too that's like kind of a minor thing but yeah so all right well what I'm going to do is I'm going to reproject this blueprint here through the mountain and increase the height of the elevator shaft I'll just raise it up by six blocks because I've already got the projector there set up ready to go so I'll just dig out another six blocks worth of space and then after that we can finally complete the elevator shaft and then um, from there we can finally start building the hallway to then go to this control tower here so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make the hallway exactly the same as the other hallways. Um, maybe I will do something a little bit different because I don't think I'm going to have the ability to create any rooms off the side of it. And maybe I don't want it to be um, that big. Um, but yeah, the only other issue I guess with this, and you'll kind of see this later on when I go to build this, this hallway is going to be actually quite long. So yeah there's not much I can really do about that um, so we're just gonna have to kind of live with that fact um, so the hallway between here and the airlock that then attaches to the elevator shaft on the third level is gonna be quite long and yeah so like I said not much I can do about it so yeah anyway I'll see you guys in a second once I have completed the elevator shaft I'll probably go away and I'll complete the roof of that and also there is one last thing that I want to modify with the elevator um, so we'll cover that in a minute and uh, yeah so I'll see you then all right guys welcome back so it may not be totally evident but I have gone ahead and I have raised up the elevator shaft by six blocks um, so if we have a look at these pistons here on the end, you can see that they are now fully extended with the exception to this one here. So um, basically the maximum I can go with this piston here is 8.4 meters because the minimum distance for this piston is set to 3.4 meters so that it actually meets this door here on the bottom. So that's pretty much as far as what this elevator can go and I kind of regret not putting in more pistons in here but I mean I've invested so much time at this point that it would just be yeah very counterproductive to redesign the entire elevator and um, you know add in more pistons so I'm just not going to go ahead and do that um, I'm pretty happy with how it is now so yeah we're basically just going to leave it how it is now one well there, there was two other things i was thinking about doing with this um elevator as well so number one what i was thinking about doing was adding another timer block so that what i could do is work out how much time it takes for the elevator to get from this floor to this floor and then also to this floor and then what I would do is activate each group of pistons um, once it reaches that floor and then activate the next group of pistons once it reaches that floor and that's mainly so that I could make the elevator go one constant speed but I'm not sure if that is actually going to be possible because of the fact that I have now made the length between these two floors here um, different. So obviously um, this floor and that floor are six blocks higher than what this floor and that floor down there are. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure if I can go ahead and do that. I think maybe I should still be able to... F um, achieve that so that the elevator can go one constant speed um, but I guess we'll just have to kind of wait and see if I can do that so I guess the only thing I need to do at this point is go ahead and actually cap off this elevator so that then we can make this entire space airtight so I'm not sure if you guys remember but basically this entire elevator shaft here is 
yeah basically going to be airtight so what we're gonna do is I'm probably gonna place some blocks here like this I've already gone ahead and left these blocks out so that you know this is a little bit easier to do but I think uh, I didn't really want to press that twice thank you um, but I think this is probably gonna be looking the best way to go so let's go with this block here put that one there spin this around and then we'll place that one there and then we will place this one here now I guess I could just make this roof flat but yeah I kind of try to avoid flat as much as possible because I, I want it to create kind of an interesting shape so we'll try and do that as much as possible so here we'll just place in these blocks and then I just need to add in another one of these blocks so we'll spin this around place that in there and then from here we just need to add in some two by one bases on either side so we'll do that just quickly and we'll place those here and then we'll go ahead and put in our tips like this and again on the other side so we'll do that and let's weld this up and let's just see how this looks okay so now all of that is welded up so the only thing we really need to do from here is actually cap it off so I think what I'll do is I'll just place a bunch of light armor blocks across this side um, I could do it all four sides but I don't really think that's necessary so we'll just kind of do them here so first we'll weld off these ones or we'll weld up these ones I should say and these ones on this side as well cool and then we can go ahead and place in our roof and I might use my local grid alignment here actually no I'm not going to because it's um, been playing up a little bit recently as I mentioned before so we'll just go ahead and we'll place these blocks in like that and then we will finally go ahead and weld these up and then that pretty much concludes the elevator shaft cool okay so that is the final block welded up and now I suspect that this air vent in here should be pressurizing this whole space given the fact that there is a a hole in the top of the elevator so if we have a look down here it still says that it's yellow though so I'm not sure if there is like a block missing somewhere or there is maybe like a door open or something like that actually I kind of suspect that this door behind here is open no that one's closed um, let's have a look down here ah I thought I was out of the elevator all right let's have a look down here and see if any of these doors are open no that one's closed um, that one is closed and looks like everything is fully sealed up so I'm not sure what is actually going on here I dare say that it's just a glitch and if I reload the game then it should be fine but um, yeah we'll have to kind of wait and see about that why won't it let me place a block in there oh I've placed a the wrong block in there ah oh, there we go okay cool so now it's complete um, yeah as far as I'm aware this elevator shaft should be completely airtight because everything is being squared away but oh well we'll worry about that later so I think the roof looks pretty good it's um, not absolutely 110% fantastic but I think that's probably the best that we can do um, given what we have so I think also what I want to do is I want to do another kind of visual change with this elevator so you guys remember how I placed all these blocks in here to create kind of a roof well Energy if I critical. lower this elevator down to let's say the ground floor and yeah so the thing I kind of don't like about this is that you can't really see the awesomeness of this elevator shaft well at least I think it's awesome so I think I may go ahead and actually get rid of all these blocks here so we get rid of this block and then we'll get rid of this block here come on lights please turn on thank you I don't know why but I have to press the light button about three or four times before they finally turn on these days so that's a little bit annoying but there's not much I can do about that I guess so I think what I'll do 
is I'll go ahead and I'll replace all of these um, blocks that I just ground out with the windows so that we can fully appreciate the elevator shaft itself. Now maybe I might spin them around so that you know the tinted side is on the outside rather than the inside but I guess um, we will withdraw a whole bunch of components for some windows we'll place them and then we'll just see how things look because yeah like I said I do really like the elevator shaft itself so I kind of want to show it off a little bit when you do get into the elevator so that you know all the hard work that I did putting in all those lights and making all this detail doesn't kind of get washed out by the fact that you can't see anything um, due to the fact that there is a roof there so I think here I've got to place one of these blocks here so we'll place two of them two of these on this side as well like that and then along here we'll just get a two by one window which I believe is this one so no that's a two by three I want a two by one all right one by two actually so we want to place that one there and then we want to place another one there all right so let's go ahead and weld these up all right cool so everything is welded up now now the elevator is fully sealed as you can see by this green indicator here um yeah so i don't know i'm not sure if i want to keep the tint or if i want to get rid of it um I am pretty happy with the tint, although at the same time, it is kind of dark in this elevator shaft, so maybe I may spin these windows around later, but I guess we'll just kind of wait and see what happens with that. So, I think the only thing I really want to do now is, there was another thing that I wanted to do with this elevator, so let, no let me just kind of demonstrate what happens when we go to a floor. So. Um, you can see that there's a bit of bumpiness and things like that and yeah, you can see the elevator now is really slow Whereas when we came down from the second floor, it was actually quite fast. So that is one of the things that I kind of want to change um, I would like it to be fast all the time um, So that when we get to a floor here, you can see that the elevator kind of bounces up and down a little bit so one thing you can do to kind of get around that is you can um, Actually, what happens if I open that door? Is it sealed still? That is interesting. I know this is sealed, this space, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I think... I think maybe there's a block missing from the elevator shaft and that's why it's not fully sealed, but yeah, we'll figure that out later. So, anyway, as I was saying, one thing that you can do with these pistons here is... You can set them to di different speeds, um, like ever so slight different speeds. So what we can do is we can grab, let's say, piston, I think it's piston 1 through 4, which are activated by the first timer block. So let's just find our timer blocks here. Um, so we got our timer block for the first floor, which is actually kind of the second floor. We got a setup action, so we've got 1, 2, 3... To retract and then five six and seven to extend and also eight so what I can do is I can set five six seven and eight at different speeds so that they all kind of fully extend at different rates so and I'll kind of demonstrate what I mean so let's go ahead and actually do that so let's find our elevator piston um, five so what we can do is we can set the speed of this to 0.51 let's say we can set elevator piston 6 to 0.52 go okay then we can set number 7 to 0.53 and then we can set elevator piston 8 to 0.54 and basically what this will do is it will mean that the first piss like yeah well actually it's probably better if i demonstrate it so let's go back down to the ground floor um and then let's see how this works so it's moving slightly faster because obviously i've increased the um speed of these pistons but let's um just check out how this works so we can see that it should like one piston should complete its full traverse and yeah it's a lot smoother when it arrives I'm not sure if you guys saw that but let's um, check this out again so let's go to the um, first floor and let's see how we go with this um, yeah I would like it to be 
double the speed that it is now between these floors so i think i am going to mess around with these timer blocks and figure out how to do that i think i should still be able to do it so yeah you can kind of see that it gradually stops and it gets to the floor and there's not this massive jolting around so yeah mission succeeded so what i'm going to do is i am going to do the same with the other pistons as well so i think it was one so I'll set this one to 0 0.5 well actually i'll leave that the way it is um, number two will go to 0 0.52 um, number three hey whoops uh, number three oh negative 0 0.5 so we'll go negative 0 0.53 on this one um, and then this one we will go negative 0 0.54 and then on piston 9 and 10 we will go negative 0 0.55 and then on piston 10 we will go negative 0 0.55 as well i think that should be fine i think four pistons with different speeds should be good enough so now let's see what happens when we go to the second floor so yeah as you can see the pistons or well, the elevator is moving a lot faster than what it was before um i can see some sparks there but i don't think any of the blocks are being damaged so i think we should be okay these blocks are still at 100%, so I think we're good to go. And then, yeah, it gradually arrives at the floor, and then we can walk through and get to the third floor. There is a little bit of clang going on here, but it's not terrible. Like, it it could be a lot worse, so I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. So, all right. Well, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go away now and figure out how to make this elevator the same speed between all these floors. And then I'm going to kind of go from there. So, all right, guys, I'll see you no in energy. a second. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have succeeded. So I have figured out exactly what I needed to do to kind of get this elevator to go. I wouldn't say the exact same speed between the bottom and the top. Um, so it pretty much goes the same speed between this floor to the second floor and this floor to the ground floor and then from the ground floor all the way up to the second and then also from the second all the way down to the ground floor. Now I wasn't, yeah, I was honestly not sure if I could even achieve that, but yeah, so I've actually managed to do it. So let me basically tell you how I did that. So the first thing I needed to do is I needed to time with a, a stopwatch how long it took to get from this floor up to this floor um, here. So and when I say how long it took me or how long it takes to get to this floor here, um, I needed to time it um, when I press the second floor button because if you guys remember when i set the or when i press the second floor button from the ground floor the speed was double that of the speed uh if i was to press the first floor because only half of the pistons were active so basically what i've done is i i yeah basically calculated the amount of time it took me to get from this floor to that floor there while pressing the second floor button which would take me up to this so that meant that the elevator was at full speed then what i did is i did the exact same thing but in reverse to see how long it would take me to get from this floor down to this floor here um, and then basically what i've done is I've added an additional two timer blocks. Now you might think that you would need three, but actually you don't. So the first floor, which is this floor that the elevator is sitting at currently, I haven't changed that at all. So that still activates um, one timer block, which activates half of the pistons, and that's all hunky-dory. Nothing really needs to be changed there. Um, what I did need to change though is what happens when I press the ground floor button and what happens when I press the second floor button. So when I press the ground floor button, what I want to do is I want to delay 
all of these pistons. So when I'm, let's say I'm at the top here, right? And I want to go to the ground floor and I want the elevator to go uh, one single speed. So what I need to do is I need to delay the activation of the pistons that take me from this floor to this floor which happens to be pistons 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 and 10. So what I want to do is I want to delay those by, in this case, 10.4 seconds. So if I go down here and we have a look at the timer for the ground floor, I'm pretty sure this is the timer G delay. You can see that I've set the timer to 10 point oh, 10 seconds I might set that to 10.4 will that actually allow me to do that yeah it will so yeah I messed up there um, and then if we go into setup actions you can see that I've set pistons 1 2 3 4 9 and 10 to retract now what I needed to do as well is do the exact same thing for the second floor. So let's say I'm sitting at the ground floor and I press the second floor button and I want the elevator to go all the way up to the top. So what I want to do is I want to delay the activations of the pistons that go from here to here. And then once they are finished um, activating, then I want the other pistons to activate as well. So obviously we put in a delay. And the time it takes for me to get from that floor to that floor is roughly seven seconds. So if we go in here, then you can see that this one here is set to seven seconds. Now, it's not exact and it's not 110% perfect, but it is good enough where it's more or less the same speed up and down. Now, if I had an even amount of floors, um, like an even amount of blocks between the floors, I could really dial it in and get it just about perfect. Um, but I mean, you know, this is close enough where I, I'm pretty happy with it and I'm happy to just kind of leave it like that. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the pistons as well. So basically, if we have a look at all these pistons, um, Previously, their speed was set to 0.5 meters per second and so on and so forth and so on and so forth like, you know, 0.51 and 0.52 and 0.55 and blah, 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 blah. So what I've done here is I've actually doubled the speed of all the pistons um, because I wanted it because, okay, so if we activated all 10 pistons at once, then the speed was double that of if we were to activate half of them if that makes sense i'm hoping all this kind of makes sense it, it kind of took me a while to figure it out don't yeah like let me tell you it took me a fair while to figure it out but um yeah hopefully it makes sense so what i had to do after that is double the speed of all these pistons so that you know it goes um double the speed up to the first floor and then doubles double the speed up to the second floor um but then when we go from the uh, second floor back down to the ground floor, it kind of disables pistons from being activated and then it kind of maintains the same speed. So I won't talk too much more and we'll just kind of see how this looks in action. And also what I've done is I've just made sure that, you know, the pist uh, the elevator goes from, you know, this floor to that floor and this floor to that floor and then ground to second and second to ground without any delays. So I've tested all that and it all works pretty good. So if I press ground floor, you can see that the um, elevator is going reasonably fast, well, a lot faster than it was before. And then it should take us back down to the ground floor and it does. And then if we go to the first floor, then you can see that it goes to the first floor. No problems there. Um, now it is ever so slightly faster going from this floor to the second floor just because of the fact that there are two more pistons kind of activating the elevator so yeah it is a little bit faster so I need to kind of dial in the speed here a little bit um, but we'll have to I'll have to mess around with that a little bit and just try and figure out how I can get around doing that so and then if we go to the ground floor so let's go to the ground floor you can see that the speed is kind of, yeah, a lot more consistent than what it was before. So, 
and then once we reach this point yeah i gotta reset that timer maybe i'll change that to about 10 seconds because it does kind of pause there a, a bit so maybe what we can do is we can actually go ahead and we can do that so let's activate this timer and let's change this back down to 10 seconds and let's try this again so let's go up here and let's go to the second floor and it should go really really fast so yeah i mean this is more complicated because of the fact that i have uneven floors um, because obviously going to the second floor, I've got another two pistons pushing up, so the timing is a little bit off. If you have even floors, then it's really easy to do this. It's, um, it would be a lot easier. So I need to dial it in a little bit and play around with the settings a little bit just to get it to, you know, be as perfect as I can get it. But I mean, so far I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah. Oh, actually, no, you know what I need to do? I need to change that seven second one i need to adjust that to maybe 6.5 seconds or something so let's go ahead and let's adjust this one so let's reduce this down to like let's say 6.8 seconds and let's see how it looks now so yeah like i said it's um it's a bit of a work in progress but it's kind of close enough where it it, it does work um, still haven't figured out why air is leaking out of this space yet, but I'll figure that out at some stage, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, because obviously I have restarted the game many times, so I would have thought that at this point, you know, it would kind of have fixed itself. So yeah, and speed kind of changes again there. So yeah, I, I've got to mess around with this a little bit more and then we can kind of figure it out. So all right, let's try this one more time and let's see how we go. Nah, it still kind of pauses there for a second, so I might have to reduce the timer on that second floor one to like, let's say 6.5. But anyway, I'm going to mess around with that off camera, um, and I'm probably going to end the episode here. I normally... Um, the episodes normally go a little bit longer, but this one has taken me so many hours to make and produce and edit and actually do all the things behind the scenes and weld things up and you know so on and so forth and so on and so forth and then figure out things behind the scenes so um you know that coupled with just coming back from holidays has just been absolutely crazy so anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this episode of wasteland survival i know i certainly enjoyed this uh making this episode and i think you know we've made a fair bit of progress in this episode um next episode you know the elevator should hope hopefully be all dialed in and then I'll finally have a chance to start thinking about creating the third floor and the airlock and all that sort of business and the control tower. So anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, so take care, guys, and I will see you next time.